Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose at Love 11. I'm back with truth, truth, bringing the dark into light. This is a timeless read. So we got each other's truth, clarity, confirmation message you're looking for. You may be also guided to my channel. It's my soul mission is waking, waking us up to ourself, higher conscious, helps identify you. Please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for somebody else. This is a collective not for swing. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, and subscribing my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you. I would not be remiss without for you guys. So thank you so much for that. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, be notified. If you'd like to join the True Seeking members, it's $3.99 per month. You can click on my profile picture or click the uh, button that says join. The bonus you get that is one free question per month. Thank you to everyone that is part of that. Um, if you have not yet emailed me for the month of October, you do get one free question um, for being True Seeking members, okay? So, you guys, I got my new Oracle deck. I thought it was a tarot deck. I thought this was my tarot deck. Um, it's my new Oracle deck. Um, and we're going to do it for Friday the 13th. Today is Friday the 13th. And we're going to use my new Oracle deck. Um, it, yeah, it's, um, a horror oracle and it's perfect day. I just received it today. It's perfect day to, um, do this for the Friday the 13th reading. Okay. Um, so we're going to see what comes out of this energy for the Friday the 13th. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels, this is a high light in the most high. Please can you correct an echo for the collective at this time? Holy Spirit, angels, this is a high light, like high sweat light in the most high. Please can you correct an echo for the collective today for Friday the 13th? What do they need to know on Friday the 13th? Okay, Friday the 13th. Um, when hearing before pulling this out, a lot of people want to um, take Friday the 13th as actually a really, really scary holiday, um, horror holiday, and it's a bad luck holiday, like 13th holiday. But if you actually look at the number 13 and Fr Fridays represent goddesses, Freya and Frigg represent Fridays and Venus. Um, their day was the goddess day. And I think that's one reason why Taylor Swift, she pulls a lot of energy from like, um, 13 and stuff and if you really look at the number 13 is also stepping into your divine energy your goddess energy but everyone portrays it as evil um i look at it as friday the 13th as a very very beautiful day for me um i i love fridays and again it's when i embody my feminine energy my goddess energy and i i lit a black candle for protection as well you guys because again we have the dark entities coming out because it's friday the 13th a lot of the horror movies and stuff and you know, a lot of, back in the 1980s um, was when the serial killers and all those crime movies came, or the, all those horror movies came out. And so I did like a black candle for protection for the collective as well for today. Okay. But again, Friday, um, 13th number, like they want to understand 13th is evil number, but it's actually like the goddess number, the divine feminine energy. I will actually. Sign for faith. Okay, 13 actually represents the sign for faith as well. Reminds us that our angels are close and sending spiritual messages that have prophet, prophetic meaning and can help guide us to a deeper connection with the divine and find our deeper meaning. But when you really go into it, it's about the divine feminine, okay? It also symbolizes the death to matter or oneself and the birth to the spirit, okay? Death to, ma death to matter or to oneself and the birth to the spirit. The passage of higher level of existence. Higher level of existence, okay? That's what 13 is. Um, a lot of people do not, like I said... Um, but like it, it also causes or carries the energy of transformation, rebirth, mirroring cycles of love. Okay, mirroring cycles of love. So again, um, you know, the dark horses wanted to make portray thirteen was an evil number, a bad number, but it's not. It's fate. So we're gonna dig into this. Okay, so what you want to cut to know on Friday thirteenth? Thank you, spirit. Shock. Okay, somebody's gonna be in shock. Shock. It says Bates Hotel. Mo motel. This is what the card looks like. Okay. Shock. Somebody's in shock. There's some I'm, I'm here some kind of shock treatment as well. Some kind of shock treatment. Somebody may have went to psychological problems, uh, issues. If we're going to talk about that, somebody may have went to some kind of shock treatment. Back in the, um, whatever, 60s, 70s, 50s, 40s, they did a lot of shock treatment. Um, if you were born that day, you could have had somebody that went to shock treatment. But we're going to see what it says in the book. Because like I said, um, this is new. This is the first time I'm using it. And we'll see what it means. Okay, so shock is psycho. Okay, psycho. I just want to make a change. While we gener generally consider ourselves to be playing the lead role in the film of our lives, we are also part of a larger story in which others' actions may spin the narrative in unexpected directions. See? Unexpected directions. People um, spin the number 13 as evil. Portrayed it as evil, but it's not. Okay, people portray number 13 as evil, but it's not. So now, like, you know, shock, it's actually a divine feminine number. It's faith. 13 is faith. It's um, energy of love. It's energy of transformation of death and rebirth, okay? This can be a real shock, a violent, a violent shriek of the nerves. Things may change dramatically, especially when you least expect it. Um, don't let your guard down. So don't let your guard down right now. So there's going to be some kind of shock um, in somebody's life. Something's going to change dramatically in somebody's life. You could actually, this could be somebody waking up and seeing the truth, okay, coming out of the matrix. Like this is some kind of shock to them. Um, they may be finding out something 
somebody may be getting somebody may be getting some news about somebody passing away as well because like i said 13 is a transformation death and transformation okay this may be a shock to you finding out something the call okay you're wow well, the call is a scream i'm getting the scream and i think it's the scream the call okay we can get this too um Somebody may not accept the call. Somebody may accept the call. When I hear the call, if you want to look at it like a, a positive way, it's are you accepting the call from God? Are you answering that call? Are you going to step into that purpose? Or if we want to look at a dark side, we can look at it as um, somebody's going to be getting a random call. Okay, somebody's going to be getting a random call, um, a call that they do not expect, a call, call they do not want, that's going to shock them. Okay, somebody may be getting a call that shocks them. Okay, unexpected call. Um, and yeah, right here we have the scream, you know. The scream coming out. The call. Okay. Let's see where is that? The, where is that? Just give me a second, you guys. I'm trying to find where it's at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it is. I I actually opened up to the first time, but then I saw I saw this um different thing. The call. Scream. Okay, direct, oh, I didn't say before, the shock was, um, it was this movie Psycho, okay, somebody could be watching the movie Psycho too. it was directed by Alfred Hitchcock, 1960, so something about 1960, okay, Alfred Hitchcock came out, Bates Motel, something could be happening at a boat motel, somebody could be finding out something about a motel as well, okay, and then we have the scream, directed by Wes Craven, 1996, you should never say who's there. You probably want to let it go to voicemail. Nothing's good ever comes from an unexpected call from an unknown number. Somebody's be calling from an unknown number, okay? So be careful. You may be getting a call from an unknown number. This could be some kind of shock to you as well, okay? Self-awareness does not always consider self-defense. Ironically, dis distance can provide the illusion of safety. Can what you reframe really hurt you? The corrupt can't resist conjugating themselves. Bad news and misdirection can cut us to the quick if we give it half a chance. Turn your ringer off. It's time to turn your ringer off, okay? So turn that off. Um, turn it off. Okay, I'm going to turn mine off right now huh? while I'm doing my reading. They're saying turn it off, okay? Turn it off. Um, um, you may be blocking somebody too, but you may be getting an unexpected call. I'm also hearing maybe somebody could be calling from prison or from a hospital and like um, it's coming up to no callers. You're not answering the call. Okay, but there is somebody that's going to be trying to, I'm, when pulling is somebody from your past, you don't want to contact somebody that's not good in your life. You don't want to talk to this person. They're calling you blocked, okay? Un um, unavailable, okay? This is somebody you do not want to be talking to. Get the popcorn, the voice. Somebody could be calling you with a, a fake number or even a voice recorder, okay, or a voiceover. Okay, is what I'm getting. Voice recorder, voiceover. Um, we had Cindy, this girl is named Cindy in here. Um, Nev Campbell played her in the original. Um, Drew Barrymore played in this movie as well, I know. Okay. It's crazy because I use a scream when I do my TikTok. I use a scream voice. I use a scream voice in my TikTok videos. I like the voice. A knife can be significant in something too. Okay. Living a nightmare. High school boyfriend. Something about high school boyfriend. Revenge. Scheming plot. Okay. One more. Thank you. Friendship. Wow. Okay, so friendship. Okay, we have a werewolf coming out here too. Okay, so you may be getting a call from that friendship that's going to shock you. So we get different. I'm getting, like I said, I'm reading different energies here. I'm hearing more than one storyline, okay? Um, you could be getting a, a call from a... If we want to look at this, you could be getting a call from a, a friend that's going to shock you. Some kind of shock, okay? I am hearing somebody's going to be calling you and possibly someone has passed away. Somebody's in the hospital or um, I'm also hearing somebody you're getting a call and you're finding out somebody's in jail or going to prison. Okay, wow. And look at the other side. Somebody may be passed over to the other side. You may be getting that call saying that somebody has passed over. Okay. Friendship. Let's see what that is. Of an American Werewolf in London, directed by John Landis, 1981. These dates could be significant to you too, like 1996 and then, um, what was it, the 19, um, 60 and now 1981. Someone could have been born in 1981. Has it occurred to you that it might be unsettling to see your, you arise from the grave to visit me? Shared experiences, especially traumatic ones, can help forge bonds of friendship. Our friends often know us better than anyone, even when we experience traumatic transformations. So there's a transformation again. It can feel as much like a curse or as a blessing to have someone see you as really who you are. Recognize, however, that even a friend's best 
intentional intention guidance may be sh shaded by an alter motive. Okay, so a friend of friendship, there could be something about friendships, be, somebody begin a call, okay, and it could be some kind of alter motive. Kind of comes out of the mo video I put, or reading I put out earlier. Um, seek counsel from those you know well. So somebody is going to be talking to somebody very well known. Okay, reaching out to people that you trust, okay? Reaching out to people you trust. Yeah, and then the other side. Wow. Somebody could have been cursed as well. Oh, I open it up again. Okay, somebody could be cursed. Be careful, okay? A friendship, this friendship could have somebody could have been cursed too. Let's grab the supernatural for Friday the 13th. I remember being a kid going on um, Friday the 13th, going into the cemetery and playing um, Ghost in the Graveyard. Fun and games. You can still have fun and games, okay? Not everything has to be pure evil. I'm hearing somebody may be watching like horror movies today on Friday the 13th, okay? Sitting around horror movies, you know? Okay, what else, Spirit? Let's see here. Hierophant, Spirit Connection, and Taurus. There could be a Taurus here. Some kind of spiritual connection, okay? That spiritual call, you may begin that spiritual call as well. A Taurus may be calling you, or you may be a Taurus calling somebody. I'm hearing shocking news, okay? Shocking news. Um, It puts somebody in shock. It puts somebody in awe. Aha. Like, wow. And, oh, there's a knife there, too. Two knives. Somebody's in a werewolf energy or a werewolf. Come from a, a bloodline of werewolves. Okay, there's somebody that's getting, that's a loving, gentle person that may be getting some, a phone call, some kind of phone call coming in. About a party planning, Aries. Okay, something happened in someone's life. We have Aries coming out. Um, so somebody could be getting called from authorities as well. Like I said, I'm hearing somebody be getting called from authorities that somebody's somebody could be in jail, going to jail. Somebody ended up in the hospital. Authority figure, a leader. Aries is also war, destruction, chaos. Somebody's trying to cause somebody hard times, or they're going to be finding out there's some hard times coming along. I want to see what this is for a minute. Working with others. Okay, yeah, something about working with others. Okay, somebody's afraid of coming up with some kind of money. Okay, some kind of work or paying bills. Okay, don't be afraid. Somebody could try to cause that in your life to, um, for you not to have some kind of money. Okay, I want to see these names. Billy, somebody's name could be Billy. Okay, yeah, the high Okay, chaos using time honor structures and traditions. Now it's time to um, re not the time to rebel, question stuff. Okay, showing respect. And then we have John. So John and then Winchester. Very knowledge. Okay, somebody's a hunter. Somebody could be a very hunter. Okay, they hunt demons. They hunt um, dev um devilish energies. They hunt um witches, vampires, and stuff like that. Writing things down. Keeping records. Okay, keeping records as well. Okay, yeah, this card, because this was John Winchester. He kept records. He wrote everything down. Somebody's writing everything down. Keeping records, documents. And like he said, authority too. Some kind of evidence could have been here too. I'm getting some kind of evidence coming out. So they can have this shocking, this shocking um news message, or whatever it could be about some kind of evidence they have, some kind of information they got. Mark a cane, the devil fan. 
somebody's trying to cause something in your life. Tries to cause a battle, fight, argument. And okay, so this call could be an argument, fight, argument. But you're going to move on. Okay, somebody's going to move on from this. Somebody's going to walk away from this. Somebody's going to walk away. Some may be, may be into bones as well, like bone throwing or like really into like um bones, studying bones. An anthropologist is an anthropologist. Somebody could be into studying bones because that's coming out too. Or in the show, I'm hearing TV show bones as well. Okay. Burying up bones, digging up bones. This is Prince of Hell in this deck, okay? I'm just I'm going to look at this Prince of Hell as well. Just stop at nothing. Okay, some of these are stopping at nothing to try to stop you, okay? Block you. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to stop you, block you. Yeah, a lot going on here. Last well, spirit. So you, that's why spirit, okay, that's why I'm here too. Like, turn that phone off, turn that ringer off, because somebody's trying to distract you. Somebody's trying to get you off track. Somebody is trying to um cause a little bit of conflict in your life, because, like, he was prince of um chaos, okay? Somebody's trying to cause chaos in your life, and that's why um spirit is telling you to turn off that phone, okay? Turn off that call. Um, Do your work. Do what you're doing, okay? Um, if they're true friends, I mean, it's about friendship. If they're true friends, they will call you back later. You can call them back. Be careful with these people because some of these people are not your real friends. You may be getting a call about shocking that, uh, somebody's betraying you. Somebody's trying to stop you, block you, backstab you, hurt you. Your star. Arcane. Armors. It's time, okay, it's time to rest too. If you're not working, it's time to rest. It's time to take a break. Relax, have fun today. Sorry, I'm just like listening to this reading. I'm getting familiar with these cards. These cards are different and like this cards too. And I'm putting this out. I'm getting two and I'm like I'm getting dark energy and light energy. There's Aquarius energy, star energy, okay. You're you're latent, okay. You're seeing things. You may be in the limelight, okay. When I'm also seeing the star card now, I'm here like I'm like literally somebody like playing the star lead in like a role in like a scary movie, a horror movie. Somebody could be jealous of that, like you are becoming a like a, a star, and somebody's jealous of that, and like so that there's some kind of um sabotaging. Let's get one more. Somebody has a mark of Cain. Death. Transformation again, okay? Transformation. Scorpio. Yeah. It's going, okay, I'm going back to somebody's getting a phone call. Somebody may be getting a phone call that they lost somebody, okay? Somebody is um, no longer here. They are on the other side, okay? I'm trying to communicate. Oh, wow. Also, what I'm hearing is that other call could be your ancestors, your spirit guides. Are you paying attention to that other call of the spirit guides, and ancestors? Take time. Sit and listen, okay? Silence. Your friendships, your friends are your spirit guides, okay? Your friends are your spirit guides. But make sure that you are connected to the right spirits, okay? Especially on Friday the 13th, because a lot of Friday the 13th, the darker entities come out, the darker spirits. So making sure that you know who you're communicating with, who, who, who you're talking to in the spiritual realm, okay? If you are. Somebody could be into necromancy, okay? I see necromancy is not evil, bad. Um, people will say necromancy is bad because you're actually uh, communicating with the dead. But there's good and bad in everything. If you call upon your ancestors or spirit guides that have passed over and you ask for permission to interact with them and help you, that's a form of necromancy. Um, asking for guidance and help not to take away their free or will, free will or your free will or other people's free will. Because that's the thing, too, is when we, when we communicate with the dead, 
um, the spirits with the company of the dead, they have, you know, they have free will too. We can't take away the free will and just say, hey, I need you. So, example, my mom passed away a year ago. And if I just start telling my mom I need her help, she needs to come through and tell me, like, help me and call upon her and, like, not ask her permission. Like, that's taking away her free will, okay? That That is not good. So, making sure when you talk to your spirit guides, you know who they are. You, you say their name. They'll tell you, like, who they are, okay? They will communicate with you who they are if they're true. And asking them if it's okay for them to communicate. Asking them, okay, if it's okay for you to communicate with them as well. Okay, asking permission. Okay, because they don't want to take away your free will. They don't want to intervene in your life. But then also you can't just intervene in their life because they're they're gone. They're dead. They're, you know, they're the spiritual one. But they are here. They're supposed to be guides. They're supposed to help us, assist us when in need. High Priestess Intuition. Some people may not like that. I may, like, I know there's going to be people on here be like, well, you shouldn't even communicate with the dead anymore. Like, that's just wrong. Like, the Bible says don't communicate with the dead. Okay, not everything is true in the Bible. I'm sorry to say, not everything's true in the Bible. It's man. It's it's somebody that wrote that. That, that that's their connection. Somebody that in the Bible, they wrote, they read the Bible and like they wrote that you know you shouldn't communicate with the dead or necromancy or psychics or evil. Well, that is their perspective. That's their dealing. That's what they feel like. Okay. Yeah. Let's see here. What else do I want to grab? Throw some of these. I'll probably pull these cards again because, like I said, this is I just the first time trying to get the feel of them. Okay, somebody could be trying to copycat you. That's what be coming out too. Okay, be careful. Friendship could be trying to copycat you. Somebody could be trying to copycat you, and then especially with that voice recording too. I'm hearing like record your voice. Okay, somebody maybe recording your voice and then using your voice. Okay, trying to sound like you. Clones, fraud, Im impersonations. Okay, impersonations, that's what's coming out. Somebody could be impersonating you. Okay, justice prevails. Wrongs corrected. Okay, something, justice can be served. Ego trip and power hungry. You guys, yes, there's stuff too in the Bible. And there's some stuff that is just like, a, it depends how, like, it's what they heard of what God, what they've heard from God. Okay? But they're not right. In the Bible, it says that if you have tattoos, you should be stoned and you should be shunned. Okay? So everybody that has a tattoo, if they believe in God and they worship God and they follow the path of God, they should be stunned, um, shunned because they have tattoos. Like, the same thing. like, really? Come on, you guys. Come on. Wake up. Open your eyes. And that's not me, like, going against the Bible. No. There's truth to the Bible and there, there's stuff that is not all true. They just want to keep you stuck. They don't want you to evolve, okay? They literally, if you go back to the the, the, the Old Testament, the beginning, it talks about them literally sac sacrificing animals to God. Okay? But then now they're telling us we do not, if we sacrifice animals, if we kill an animal, we're sacrificing it. We're doing it to Satan. So something about sacrifice is coming out. But if you really go back, because I started reading it, you go back to the beginning, it talks about them sacrificing animals at the altar, bringing it to God. Like, okay, but right there, you're sacrificing animals. You're killing an animal to go bring it to the, the preacher, you know, to the person. Like, I don't remember the names, but I remember reading it, and I was really, 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 really stunned by that. So it was okay for them to do that then, but it's not okay for somebody to be a terror reader now. It's not okay for somebody to be a psychic. But it's okay for them to go kill animals and bring it to the, um, to the, the preacher or bring it to whoever, I can't think of the freaking name is called. It was okay for them to bring it to them to their to their altar to their to their church. It's okay for that to happen because they're killing animals, but that's okay. Because in a perfect world, God wouldn't want us to kill animals either. If you think about a perfect world, somebody's gonna need some help. So you got, okay, so somebody be calling with help. Okay, maybe getting a call on Friday the thirteenth for some kind of help for some kind of assistance. Be careful with this person. That's why spirit's saying, be careful. You're surrounded by good all four sides. Strangers coming against you. Group so group gang group effort gang moves. Someone's trying to shut you up. Block you. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay, you divine feminine masculine. You, yeah, you're gonna get some shocking news. Um be careful with this phone call.
Someone could be watching the movie site, like again, Psycho. Ages between 10 and 20. Something a job, yeah. See, interfering in your job. So if you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, or you have a business or whatever, or whatever your business, there's someone trying. To, they're trying to interfere in your job. Okay, they're trying to show up at your job. They're trying to call you. They're trying to um get you off your track. Throwing illusions at you. See, it's throwing illusions. Okay, what else, Barrett? What else? If somebody could go to jail for narcotics and you give me that call, come bail me out. Come help me. Somebody could have went to the hospital because of uh, overdose narcotics. Some about murder. Try to sacrifice murder. Mentally disturbed. Deal with the evil dark witch. That evil dark witch may be calling you. From an unblocked number. Neptune. Pisces. Okay. Jupiter. Sagittarius and Pisces against the Pisces coming out strong. Um, Neptune is inspired. Jupiter is a father energy. It's also um expansion. Right? Oh, I gotta double check that. I wanna make sure. Yeah. I think Jupiter is expansion. Expand, yep, okay, I'm right. Jupiter's expansion. So expansion of the mind, okay? Expanding, okay, knowing. Okay, not living in black and white, not just believing everything you hear or read. That's the thing, too, is, okay, everyone wants to say you believe what the Bible says. You don't have to believe everything that you hear or read, okay? Or see. Go right to source. Go right to God. And ask God to help you. Ask God to give you the message, okay, if it's right or wrong, okay? When I was reading the Bible, the little part of the Bible, and it said that all psychics, terror readers, um, people with tattoos... Um, that are spiritually guided or like, um, you know, into necromancy and other stuff. When I read that part, saying that uh, they'll be shunned or killed or murdered when they're they're evil. When I read that part, I really really got upset and hurt. It triggered me, and I'm admitting, I'll admit, I was triggered because I'm like, okay, I'm doing the work of God. I'm doing what I love to do. Is it safe? No. Yeah, I'll give it a ride, but you gotta let me finish this up. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I, I, I was triggered because I'm like, okay, God told me to do this. God told me to start this path. And, like, people are telling me, you know, and so what I did is when I, I was triggered, you guys, I admit, I was triggered. And I'm like, because everyone told me to believe the Bible, everything's in the Bible is true. And I'm like, what I did is I went and meditated and I journaled and I went right to my meditation state and I asked, went right to God, to source. And I asked God, show me the way. Please show me a sign. Am I supposed to continue doing tarot? Am I supposed to continue doing my spiritual work? Am I continue supposed to have my YouTube channel? Am I continue to do my um holistic things with crystals? Because it also said crystals were bad too. Am I continue to do that? If I'm continue to do that, if this is the work of God, if this is a path that you want me on of a light, light worker and helping people and that I'm not evil, please allow me to continue doing it. Show me what I need to do. And God show me. God's like, no, you need to continue to do this. Like there are signs and messages. Okay. I actually um didn't do tarot for a couple of days and um my internet stopped working. Like there's things that like told me and then I started like I'm like, okay, I'll do it again. I actually one time I threw my cards away saying I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna be done with it. And like I felt sick to my stomach at that time. Like, why am I doing that? That's not something that God told me, God told me this is my purpose, okay? This is my path. I'm helping people. I'm not hurting people. Okay, so that's the thing. And I went right to source and God showed me the way. God told me that you're helping people on their journey. And there's people that um are into tarot and that they need assistance, okay? So I don't know why that's coming out. But somebody could be trying to all get you off track and make you believe something that's not true, okay? If, if you feel like I'm not telling you the truth, if you feel like I'm like giving you false information... Go to source. Okay, go to source. If you don't feel like I'm real, I'm not being authentic, go right to source. Ask God yourself, okay? Ask God yourself. Journal, meditate, okay? Because God will tell you, okay? You don't have to believe me. You don't. Just like I didn't have to believe everything in the Bible. I went to there. There's a brother. Somebody with negative intent. Somebody could be spoiled, okay? And 
if they're positive. So there's something that's negative and positive in the copycat energy. So, okay, I'm going to close all of this. this. This reading kind of went by the 13th, and that's probably why the energy is a little bit wacko today. Um, overall, I guess you may be just getting a phone call. Be careful with that phone call. Okay, be careful with the people around you, okay? Because something somebody may be getting some shocking news, okay? Some shocking news. That phone call, whatever's happening. Somebody may need assistance help. Somebody may have passed over. They're in jail. Okay, it's a kind of, like I said, an argument. Because th this is the argument card. This is moving on from the argument. Okay. This this dark witch, evil witch. This dark witch, evil witch could be call, trying to call you on a block. Like I said, um, trying to cause you. Or somebody could be calling you because there is a real death. Okay, it's time to heal. It's time to rest. So we may be calling you for planning things too, okay? Three Pentacles is part of our like collaboration planning. Okay, or the third party. So again, that could be getting called too, but how this came out is like I feel like it's gonna be a call that's like gonna be calling shock shocking call. Friendship. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get angel number. I'm hearing again full shock. Full shock treatment. Psychopath. See that I mean psychopath. Somebody could be actually going to the hospital and getting electric electric treatment. That's a psychopath. And you could be getting a call about this. It could be a family member. Somebody that you already somebody that you were friends with in the past. Five five five. Big changes welcome them in, but don't force some freedom. Adventure angels are helping you with material and financial needs. 1717, important soul mission, support, and encouragement, time to face anxieties and insecurities and make the change you've been want, needing to make so long. Expert, expert positivity, great things about you. Taurus, Aries, Aries, Capricorn, and number seven. I love you. Love, peace, light, healing, namaste.